angel said you will not perish Abraham prayed for you you will not perish God is interested in you you will not perish heaven is watching you tonight you will not perish they took hold of their hands they, they, they threw them away don't carry any box now we're talking about fire you are talking about jewelry we're talking about judgment you are talking about the world we're talking about the impending doom you are talking about cash for a feast or for a party they won't allow them to carry anything they took hold of their hands and they said escape to the mountain escape for your life look not behind you that's how they now escaped point number three my final point lost after the announcement of mercy lost after the announcement of mercy remember what they told them they put them outside sodom and gomorrah and they said, look not behind you. In verse 26, but his wife looked back from behind him. I will not look back. I said, I will not look back. You will not look back. In the name of Jesus, you will not look back. Whatever the pull of Satan, whatever the pull drawing back by the things of the world, I'm praying for you. Heaven is praying for you. Jesus died for you. Because of the atonement of Jesus Christ, because of his agony in Gethsemane, and because of the sweat of blood that is sweated for you, you, today, you will not look back. But his wife looked back from behind him and became a pillar of salt. After she came out of Sodom and Gomorrah, she still perished before she got to the mountain top. You will not perish before you get to the mountain top. But the Lord is telling you, you will take the first step. Arise, get out of your sin. Arise, get out of the crime of this community. Arise, get out of the fight and the violence in the land. Out of all the pollutions of the world, come out. The Lord is calling you unto himself. Because right now, like Abraham prayed for Sodom and Gomorrah, and for a uh, Lord, Jesus is praying for you now. And the Lord is saying today, if you'll take a decision and come out of those evil things you have done in the past, because of Christ, because of his blood, because of his intercession, because of the message of mercy coming to you today. Thank God you will not perish. And when the trumpet shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall rise. And Christ shall come again for his own. When the saints of God are marching in. You will be among the number. I said you will be among the number. You will not perish. You will not go to hell. You were not born in the fire of hell. But tonight is that night of decision. Are you ready? Mercy is coming to you. Forgiveness is coming to you. Salvation is coming to you. And the angels are pleading with you. Up, oh, get up. Come to Christ. Abandon your sin. Abandon the evil of your hand. 
and say, Lord, today I come. If you want to come to Christ, and you want to escape the judgment of God, and you want God to forgive your sin, and not to count you with people of Sodom and Gomorrah, and you want to escape the judgment to come, where are you? You will raise up your hand. Where are you? I said you raise up your hand. Wave the hand at me. I want to see. Thank you. God bless you. You will stand up. You want to escape the judgment to come. You want to escape the judgment to come. Where are you? You will stand up. God bless you. This is the moment of salvation for you. Just like those angels told the Lord, get out of this place. Escape to the mountain. Come out of where you are. Show an indication that you want Jesus as your Savior. Show an indication that you want to come out of all the evil of your past life. Rise up and come. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. This is the night of mercy. This is the night of your salvation. It's the night of your forgiveness. As you are coming, be looking at the mountain top of heaven. Escape to that heaven that you will not go to hell. You will not perish. That this judgment coming, you will not be judged. Don't compromise your salvation with anybody. If somebody else says it's not coming, don't allow that to hinder you. Any cult member, don't allow them to say you are part of our stay. You say, I, I want my own salvation. I want my own deliverance. I want my own forgiveness. Come. At that time when the fire became upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Old men, old women, they burnt in the fire. Educated people, illiterate people, they burnt in the fire. Only Lord and the daughters that came out. Only those of them that came out with the decision. They were the people that escaped. You want to come. Don't allow anything to delay you there. Drop the alcohol. Drop the tabac and the cigar. Drop the prostitution. Drop the occultism. Drop the violence in your hand. And drop all those evil things you are used to. Salvation is greater. Heaven is greater. Peace of God is greater. The joy of eternity is greater. The Lord is calling you. Why will you perish? Why will you perish? Why don't you come? Keep on coming. The Lord is waiting for you. All over anywhere you are. You are making up your mind now. And you are abandoning, you are forsaking all the life of the past. No more nightclub. No more drunkenness. No more cultism. No more idol worship. All the waistbands, no more. All the juju rig, no more. All the fighting, no more. All the lying, no more. All the womanizing, running after men, after women, no more. Escape the judgment of God today. Run into the arms of Jesus. And the Lord will receive you. And the Lord will, will take you in. Everybody praise the Lord. Come out of your sin. Am I sure you have come out of your sin? Am I sure you have made up your mind? You will not look back? 
you'll not look, you'll not do like a lot's wife. Raise up here and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. Oh Lord, I pray. All these who have come out sincerely, I pray you cut them away from their past sin in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, by the blood of Jesus, oh, wash all their sins away. And you give them the power to go and live a righteous life. Grant them your salvation now. Grant them the joy of salvation. And grant them the victory that comes with salvation. That they will never go back to the lifestyle of Sodom and Gomorrah in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And the Lord. Tonight there are miracles of mercy. Did you hear what the Lord told us in the message? Number one, the ambassadors of mercy. Number two, the angels of mercy. Number three, the announcement of mercy. And that mercy of the Lord is coming to you right now. You will not miss that mercy of God. You will not miss that miracle of mercy. The Lord will touch you where you are today. You will never be the same again. All those infirmities, all those weaknesses and sicknesses. The Lord will roll everything away. The hand of the Almighty God will touch you. He'll break every yoke in your life. And destroy the works of the devil. Tonight, God will put a testimony in your mouth. Are you ready for that testimony? Why don't you stand up? And we're going to pray together. Identify where the problem is. Where the sickness is. Where the infirmity may be. Identify where the weakness of the body is. In the bone structure, in the body, in the brain, anywhere. When we pray, the Lord will touch your life. And when I say in Jesus' name, and then you pronounce that amen, that's a confirmation of your miracle. You lay hand, one hand in the place where you have the problem. Then you raise up the other hand. And then we're going to pray that miracle of mercy will get to you where you are. Are you ready now? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We thank you because we know you are a mighty God. Abraham prayed to you and you said, if you find ten righteous people there, you'll spare the land. You always listen whenever we call upon you. I'm calling upon you for everybody here tonight. And I pray that your miracle of mercy will come to everyone in Jesus' name. You are a God of mercy, a God of power, a God of all possibilities. I pray, Lord, touch everyone tonight and take all the infirmities, sicknesses, and weaknesses away in Jesus' name. Where there is any pain, take the pain away. Any weakness in the body, take it away. Any kind of terrible disease, take it away in Jesus' name. Every part of their body, touch them right now. And those mountains of problems, roll everything away from their lives. Those who are blind, touch those blind eyes. 
and I command that blindness get out of there. I pray as they open their eyes now, they'll see clearly in Jesus' name. Those who are withered in hand or withered in the leg or paralyzed anywhere, having stroke, whatever. Oh Lord, take it away from them in Jesus' name. Those who have or deafness or dumbness, they brought them, touch their ears and touch their vocal cords. Release them from that sickness in Jesus' name. Those who have any attack, any oppression, any yoke, any curse upon them. The charms and the spells of the people of the world which in war against their lives. Oh Lord, run it away in Jesus' name. At this time now, Lord, those who are barren, they married, they don't have any children, give them their miracle children. Touch every part of their lives. Miracle everywhere now. Deliverance everywhere now. Healing everywhere now. Confirm it in the lives of the people in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. You can do better than that. Give me a good amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. God's miracle power is right there with you now. Check up yourself and you see that the miracle is right there.